the Jeep didn't want to go through. And there's the Jeep. So we back up, and my daddy he parked the Jeep, and then he get out, and he walked. Now, it seemed like each time, he'd be walking by the half mile. Then he come back, and then he walked in another direction. He gone by the half mile. And he walked back, he said, I got it, I got it, son, know what we're going. And we get in, and we commence to drive. Now we drive some more, lost some more brambles, do some more trees, over some more rocks, in a gully or two, back out the gully or two. Crash this bump that scratched the other. And he parked. And he did the same thing again. Now, I tell you, this man must have done that about eight, maybe 14 times. And we probably up on top of that there mountain. Or maybe seven and a half, eight hours. See, when we had started out, we was fresh. We had just eaten. I took wood. And I told Daddy, I so full, I was getting ready to fuck. And when we got that mountain, yeah, maybe about a half hour drive. But by the time we got off that mountain, I'm sitting in the side seat of that street. I'm just pulled up my shirt and I was counting my wood. I was so hungry. If you had seen me, you would have swore I was from Ethiopia. Now, eventually, after that eight time, my dad found a pair. He said, "Oh, I found, I found, I found the trail." So we drove to where it was, and of course, it was through some old trees and over some old boulders, and down in a gully that was so deep. I thought the Jeep was going to tip over on his nose and land on the back. So we went for our lap and we got out to where he said that man was. Now, I know that I was young and I hadn't seen that many times in my life. But, far as my young eye can see, the only thing that you could call that a path on, maybe a squirrel, I saw maybe one drag nut trail. A squirrel might have dragged nut behind it, you know, nothing makes some head screw the drag it. That hard it was, just me and it all through the wood. But I said, okay, daddy, I'm gonna trust you. Because I ain't got no choice, ain't like I can go. So you can if I could, I wouldn't have gone. Next time, I'm packing the hand down in the back. You know, you get in trouble like that, I'm the police. But we followed that there squirrel trail. And eventually that squirrel trail did lead to this little handful of rabbit. And it looked like somebody, you know, picked up some rabbit for it and put in their hand and just threw it as hard as they can in one hand. Just look, grab one here, grab one there, grab one there. Just enough for you to know that it was gravel and not squirrel block. That's it. That's just, just enough. Before we follow that, then it finally came to some old gravel. And then next thing you know, there's a catapult. Oh, I'll tell you, when I saw that room, now, I, I didn't say it out loud, but I didn't want my dad to do it. But in my head, in my head, loud, I probably didn't hear me just thinking so loud. 
I said, praise the Lord, hallelujah. I said, next Sunday, I'm going to church with my mother. I cannot believe that somehow the Lord saw fit to put a road in front of my back. I did not believe that this man would ever find any road again. I thought for sure that I'd die hungry, shriveled up, from that damn near hill, laying on a rock, holding a little old rock again. Thank <laughs> you.